PCD. See the figure very carefully. What is given? Angle BED is equal to what? 180 minus what? BCD. Why? Because opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. I read once again. I revise once again. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are always 180 degrees. Therefore, what I get? Angle BED is equal to 180 minus angle BCD. That's nothing but 180 minus 100 degrees, which gives me what? 80 degree. And finally, CED. What are you going to find? CED. CED is what? BED minus angle BEC. Can you get this on the figure? Yes. So B CED is nothing but equal to BED minus BEC, which is 80 degrees minus 50 degrees, which I get 30 degrees. So what is 30 degree? Angle CED. So I got all the answers. So what are the answers you got? We take a recap once again. We got angle BEC 50 degrees. I hope you got it. Very good. We got angle BCD 100 degrees. And finally we got angle CED that is nothing but 30 degrees and the sum gets over. Good sum. Very, very good sum. Now, when you see the next sum, what is given to you? See the sum very carefully. It's a proving sum. And in geometry, the proving sums are a bit more challenging. When the sum is proving one, there's no numerical values given to you. It's become more interesting. See the sum, what is given? In the adjoining figure, AB is equal to CD. So, there are two chords which are equal. What else? Prove that BE is equal to DE. Okay. And AE is equal to CE. These are the two segments, the two sides of two different triangles. So I got one idea for this. Why don't I try to prove two triangles are congruent? So if I prove these two triangles are congruent, which two triangles? If I prove triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE, my job looks very much easier. So let's start proving these two triangles are what? Congruent. See in these two triangles, triangle ABE and in triangle CDE, what is given to you? AB is equal to CD? Yes, that is already given to you. The two chords are equal. What else? You got angle BEA is equal to angle DEC. What's the reason for this? Vertically opposite angles. And one more, what is given to you? Angle BAE is equal to angle DCE. That is nothing but angles in the same segment. So we can prove, we have already proved that triangle, which two triangle? Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE. By which test? By SAA test of congruency. And whenever two triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides and angles automatically become what? equal. So what do I come to conclusion? I come to a conclusion that BE is equal to DE and AE is equal to CE. What's the reason for this? Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. That's what you want to do it and sum gets over. Now see the next sum, what is given to you? We read the sum first. In the adjoining figure, that means the figure which is given to you next, what is given? Angle PAB is 38 degree. What is given to you? Angle PAB is 38 degree. What else? O is the center of the circle. No problem. What you have to find over here? 
you have to find angle P B A and angle P Q B. It is very easy sum, it is a very straightforward sum. See first of all what you will find? Angle P Q B is equal to angle P A B. What is the reason for this? Angles in the same segment. Therefore, what I get? I get angle P Q B equal to what? 38 degree. Very simple. So, the one of the part is over. See further what we can do. And angle A Q B is 90 degree. Can you get it 90 degree? Yes. Why? Angle in the semicircle. Angle in semicircle is what? 90 degrees. Okay. Angle A Q P is nothing but angle A Q B minus P Q B. Yes, see the figure very carefully. Angle A Q P is equal to angle A Q B minus angle P Q B. So, what I get finally? That is 90 minus 38 degree, which gives me 52 degrees. So, what is 52 degree? Angle A Q P. But what is there? Now, see the same very carefully. See the figure very carefully. Angle P B A is equal to angle A Q P. Why? Because angle in the same segment always what? Equal. Therefore, what I get? Angle P B A is nothing but equal to 52 degrees. And the sum get over. Now see the next sum what is given to you. It's a proving sum. All the proving sums are very interesting because there is no other numerical help given to you. It's a very good sum. In fact, all the proving sums are very challenging sums. See what is given to you in this sum. In the adjoining figure, two equal chords. The moment two equal chords are given to you, there is one property which comes automatically to your mind that equal chords substance equal angle. I revise once again, equal chords will give rise to what equal angles. We will try to use this property in this sum. See what else is given to you. Of a circle with center O, further intersect each other at point E. So these two chords are intersecting at point E. Prove that AD is equal to CB. We have to prove that AD is equal to what CB. No problem. First of all, we require some construction. We have to join certain things. Construction. See what we are going to do now. Join AD, BC and BD. By doing so, what I will get? I get two triangles. Which two triangles? I get triangle BCD. Are you getting that? Yes. And I get triangle BAD. Bad. Okay. Now by taking these two triangles, I will try to prove these two triangles are what congruent now. How do I go for it? How do I proceed? First step. Angle BAD is equal to angle BCD. Can you see those two angles are equal? Yes. By which property? Angles in the same segment are always what? Equal. What else? You get angle ADB is equal to angle CBD. Because these both angles are facing equal chords. So what do I come to a conclusion? Equal chords always subtends equal angles. Further down what I get? CD is equal to what AB. That's what given to you. These two chords are what equal. By using all the given information, what I get? I get triangle BCD is congruent to triangle BAD. By which test? SAA test of congruency. And the moment you prove two triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides and angles automatically become what equal. See what we get. Yes, we get AD is equal to what CB. Reason? Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. And you have done it what was required to be answered. So what do you have found? You found that AD is equal to CB and the sum gets over.